God is good. All the time. God is good. If you can hear me, wave. It's very cold, but you can make it warm. My name is Brenda, and um, I'm a literature evangelist. And um, I'm also standing in for my mom. Yeah, so before we, I do this promotion, let us pray. Lord God, we want to thank you for this bright and beautiful day. We invite you to guide us, to give us understanding, and um, give us the urge to read the books that you may be knowledgeable unto salvation. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So today I have some books I'd like to promote. And um, first I'd like to promote Storytime in Africa. Storytime in Africa. Storytime in Africa is a compilation of uh, character building real life stories from around Africa. And it is very, very uh, helpful for the small children. Those, those kids who desire to learn how to share or tell children's story, Storytime in Africa is one of the best books. It has, uh, it's, um, it has five books inside, and um, uh, they are character-building stories, so you can pass by the table and have a look at this book. And you can buy it for your child, for your grandchildren, for, for your nieces and nephew, and they believe they, they will bless them and, and uh, they will live to remember the gift you gifted them. Another book that I have is Train Up a Child. Train Up a Child is a book by Nancy Van Pelt. It equips parents with knowledge on how to bring up children. Uh, a number of parents never went to the school of being trained on how to bring up a child, especially young mothers, young parents who don't have uh, guardians who educate them about bringing up children. Nancy Van Pelt is a family life educator who has done vast research about families and she has written um, um, advice on, on t in, in terms of bringing up children in the right way. Yeah, you can pass by my, our desk and have a look at it. The other book I have with me here is Total Marriage. Total Marriage is a successful, is a guide to a successful marriage. Young people desire to get married. And um, what I think a number of us, uh, some of us never went for counseling. Okay, I'm not married, but I'm saying from what I have, I have from the people I have interacted with, n a number of us never went to deep research and counseling when they were preparing for marriage. But these books that we have here are a very good um, uh, script on how we can, we can go about marriage. And it gives counsels on how to handle mat marriage matters. And um, its author is Jeffrey and P Petty, Bra Petty Jean Brown. These are a couple who have gone through a number of issues in marriage, and they saw it well uh, to to come down to come up with um, guidelines on how to help married people live peaceful and longer, successful marriages, and. Um, to avoid divorce and separation. Uh, another book that I have with me is Healthy Juices. Healthy Juices is a book that has a compilation of smoothies, uh, infusions, and healthy drinks. This basically describes how how you can prepare 
this juice. This juice is, say if you are suffering from a heart problem, what are the kind of juices you are supposed to drink? Say if you want to do some weight loss, and a number of us want to go through the weight loss journey. What are the things you need to drink? What are the things you need to avoid? If you're allergic to some food, what can you uh, substitute in your meal, in your drinks, so that it can help you boost your immunity? And for also those people who want to detoxify, it's a very good gu guide. It's a guide that promotes um, healthy drinks for the eyes, for the brain, for the heart, for the kidneys, and for the for clean, clean blood. So get to pass by the desk and have a look at it. Yeah. And um, one other book I have is Unforgettable Stories. Unforgettable Stories. Unforgettable Stories is a compilation of 20 character building stories for young children. It is uh, pictorial inside, so for those kids who, la who learn through pictures, it is very helpful for them. And it is uh, pocket friendly. If for those who like asking, saying that our books are very expensive, it's a very good investment for the children. I remember last week I was in some church and I was teaching the children, primary eight children, and there was this boy who was answering like every question. If you ask them about um, character, about any character in the Bible, they will, they will, they will explain it confidently. And I really wanted to know how this boy seven-year-old boy is able to answer the questions very correctly and confidently. When I met the father, the father told me before, before the children came, he spent like 800000 for the family library. And him and his wife are diligently teaching the children, and the children have to read, they spend more time in reading, than watching, and that's how they are very knowledgeable in answering questions in class, in um, um, they can easily approach any matter when asked. So I'd like to encourage us to pass by the table, have a look at the book, get a book that interests you, get a book that will help someone else, and um, it will not only bless you, but it will bless others. So I pray that God will bless you. And with that, allow me to pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you because you love us and because you have good plans for us. Lord, there are a number of us who desire to read, but we lack that urge to read. We pray that you may plant in us that urge to read and help our children to read, that they may grow, to know you, to love you, and to serve you. We pray, Father, that you may be with us throughout this day. This is our humble prayer, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen.